Hi, Jim Berthold here from OLI Systems. Recently, OLI entered into an agreement with a corporation called SkyTap to provide a virtual machine for training purposes. To that end, we have uh, started using this uh, to deliver our content so you don't have to download and install our software on a temporary basis in a remote locations uh, and then have to contact your IT department to get all of our security enabled. Here is a virtual machine that you can use and beat up as necessary. We probably already have sent you an email uh, with a link. And this is an example of one that I have here. It was sent to my Gmail account uh, just to show you how it works. And here is the link. This link is unique per student and it is unique per course. It can't be reused uh, outside this particular event. Okay. So all you need to do is click the link to start enabling the virtual machine. So we'll go ahead and start that and see what happens. All right, after a few moments, the virtual machine will appear. So what you have here in the way OLI has implemented is your virtual desktop right here. Uh, it's just an icon. Uh, we have a start button and a shutdown button located here. And then over on the uh, side panel here, we have something called the learning console. We will be putting files here that <clears throat> will explain what you need to download, if anything, for this course. We have these three little buttons up here, which when I open it up has next actions thing, which can either pop out the side panel as a separate uh, object or collapse it. For the moment, we're going to leave it open and go ahead and start provisioning the virtual machine. The easiest way to do this is to just click on the desktop and it will automatically start the provisioning process. So we're going to go ahead and click the desktop right now. Okay. And then when it does, we're going to go ahead and click the big start button and it'll begin loading the software. It could take up to two to three minutes for the virtual machine to actually load. So give it some time. As long as the wheel is spinning, something is happening. Since these virtual machines are actually real computers, running on the cloud, occasionally Microsoft will push an update. As you can see, that's what happened in this demonstration. Uh, wait for the cleanup process to be completed, and then you the, the VM will boot. Okay. I will endeavor to have this done prior to your course, but sometimes they sneak in an update when we're not looking. This is a Windows 10 machine, uh, and they're still doing some updates. So just wait until the cleanup is done, and then the VM will start. Okay, the virtual machine has now booted. One of the things most students are concerned about is how do you log in? And all you need to do is click somewhere on the desktop, and now your username is student, uh, but what's the password? Uh, to be quite honest, I have forgotten what the password is, so I am going to use the credentialing system built into SkyTap. And if you can see here, there's a little piece, uh, a little set of keys, uh, which when I moused over said the word credentials, Go ahead and click those keys okay. and then you'll see the password here is uh, hidden uh, just go ahead and click insert you'll see that it copied it down here to the password id uh, you can see what it is we're not really too uh, concerned what the actual password is uh, and then click the start button to run uh, this will actually boot your computer uh, just like any other windows computer you've ever seen We'll give it a minute or two here to boot, and then we'll talk about some other things that are available to you. Okay, once the computer is booted, uh, we can do some other things. If you wanted to download the files that we've provided to you, again, I have the control panel, excuse me, the console learning panel open. Uh, we can go here, and we can copy the file, or we can send the VM, the program to the VM. The copy the URL is actually better for us, uh, or you can just go ahead and click the file itself, and it will give you some options. You can see that it's here. Uh, you can then pop this window out, or you can download it using the download button, and that will save it to your files. Okay. If you don't want this uh, side panel open because it's in the way, we could either uh, pop it out, 
or close it, which is what we're not going to do, but we're going to collapse it. We can also try a file drop if you want to add a file to here from your computer. So if you already have an OLI case, you can drop it right into here. It's an upload, not a download. So we're uploading to the VM, not downloading from the VM. Okay. We'll go back to actions here and we will collapse the learning console. If you want to open it again, you can just click these little buttons on the side. The last thing to do here before we get started with the course is change your resolution. This button here allows you to go full screen. I'm currently full screen. Uh, you can also change the resolution, make it look better for you. Uh, I would not do something like that. That's a very tiny screen. Okay. And go full screen. That gives you the full access of it. Uh, one thing to be aware of, though, is uh, be careful with your toolbars. Remember, there is a virtual machine toolbar as well as your own toolbars. People tend to get that confused. The software should be preloaded. Uh, the two software packages are OLI Studio, which contains Stream Analyzer, Corrosion Analyzer, ScaleChem, uh, and EBS, and OLI Flowsheet. Uh, I will just start OLI Studio as an example here to let you know that it runs. Okay, it is actually going to our security layer. We're not going to do any of that for this particular demonstration. And you can use the software as indicated by your instructor. When you're done uh, for the day, you can put the computer into a suspend mode. Uh, again, done through the control panel up here at the top. Uh, you can power off. You can shut down gracefully. You can reset it. I wouldn't do that. Or uh, power it off. The computer is going to power off and go into suspend mode by itself, so you don't have to do that. Uh, but you can click the suspend this VM, and it suspends it. Uh, we actually do have incur a charge if the VM is running. So after one hour, 60 minutes of non-use, the VM will automatically suspend. So if you're in the course and it's a long lecture, uh, go into the VM occasionally to uh, poke it to make sure it's still alive. Uh, it is actually completely open to you. Uh, we have given you Google Chrome here for you to go and use it. You can check your email here. You can send files to yourself by opening up an email browser that is unique to you. Uh, you can send files to your local computer and back uh, through the uh, mail browser. If you wanted to put Dropbox on or some other tool like that, you can. We allow you to do all of that. Please be advised, however, that OLI does have access to this VM. So anything you put on this VM, we can see at some point. So if you are going to use a web browser, make sure you clear the cache before you shut it down for the day. Uh, sometimes OLI will use this shared drive here. This is actually a shared drive with our system. Uh, and this was actually for a course that was run previously. If you want us to email you a file, please copy the file to here. Make sure the file is identified with your name. This file system is shared by all the users of the VM. So everybody who's on the course will have access to this. So again, it's not proprietary. Identify it either with your name or your company name and then the course instructors or uh, the course administrators will see that they're emailed to you or made available to you in some other manner. Okay. That's it for the VM. Uh, we are actually going to go in the process of powering down, shut down this uh, VM using the shutdown button. And that's all you need to use. It, when you come back into the VM, use the link that was originally sent to you to come back into the VM and it will be left in a state uh, that you we're in when you shut it uh, when you left if you shut it down it will actually be shut down I'm going to do that now it's shutting down and thank you for your attention